Hey, Airtable, I want to learn more about ListView. Like, what is it? And when should I use it? ListView makes it easy to create, edit, and manage hierarchical data, from projects and tasks to product roadmaps and features, all within Airtable. Welcome to Tool Tips, where we share quick and helpful ways to use Airtable. In this video, we'll address some of the questions you've been asking about ListView and share tips to help you get the most out of this view type. Let's start by defining list view. This view type lets all Airtable users structure work from top to bottom by letting you connect other tables to your view. Instead of clicking back and forth between your tables, you can get all of the data you need in one spot and see how it's linked together. It's great for helping teams understand the full scope of their work and for showing leaders where all of that work stands. Choose up to three levels in a list view and customize rows so you can visualize your data exactly the way you want. So when would you use list view instead of grid view? It can be helpful to use list view rather than grouping in grid view when you want to see fields across multiple tables. Say you're using Airtable to manage your product launches. At your highest level, you can add fields like the launch date, while your tasks can show fields like status, and assignee. When you set up a list view, you can choose exactly which fields to show at each level, providing valuable context for team members and stakeholders. When it comes to setting up a list view, there are slight differences between your base and interface experiences. To configure a list view in a base, you'll need to start in the table with the lowest level. We refer to this as your source table. In an interface, on the other hand, you can set any table as your source table. You can also set your view to read only or editable, giving you more control when it's time to share the interface with collaborators. Sometimes a section in your list view won't have any associated records underneath it. An example of this would be a future launch that your team hasn't begun planning for yet. Good news, you can toggle between showing or hiding empty sections. While showing sections can be a useful reminder that you need to add some tasks, hiding sections is perfect for cleaning up your view, especially if you're not prioritizing certain projects at the moment. Shout out to our community for the great questions that helped inspire today's tooltips. Try creating a list view to manage your projects today, and be sure to check out our other videos for more helpful tips.